Hi everybody, I'm Christine from Auckland Saddle Fit. I'm just taking part in a question and answer series and hopefully you'll all be able to leave us a little more informed. So recently I'd seen a question posted on a forum and it was asking, can I adjust my gullet and how can I do it safely? So I think we need to break this down into some slightly more simple steps. First of all, what type of gullet do you have? Do you have a fixed gullet or do you have an interchangeable gullet? More people are familiar with interchangeable gullets these days. These are quite simply a hard plastic which we're able to push apart, take out our gullet plate and change them again. So we've got set sizes between the brands um, and you take out the one that you need and you can go up and down a, a size or two as need be. With some willpower and a screwdriver, you can't go too wrong. It is important to know that these are quite specific to the brand. So we do have a piece here, which is a Winty gullet plate. So it's got a single hole. If we are looking at something like a Thoroughgood gullet plate, we will have two holes. Um, this is a Bliss interchangeable, but also the same um, type of setup as some of the PDS ones where they have a little bit of an edge on it. Not the same though. Uh, and these all fit in a slightly different way. So it is important to know that while in, say, your Thoroughgood range, all of the wides are the same, when we are looking between the brands, this is a medium narrow and this is a wide, and you can see that they are pretty similar. So when you're asking your saddle fitter what size do you need, be aware that different brands can have different sizing. So interchangeable gullets don't just come with a bar that you can take in and out. Some, like this Performance Horse Saddle, have got little pieces. Um, these keys that you just quite simply pop in and out as you need to, to adjust them. So with these, this is actually a wooden tray for key piece and this is our plastic. They're nice and simple. When it's not so simple and not something that you can do yourself at home, uh, when we have got solid trees. So for example, this is quite an old example, but this is a solid plastic tree. Uh, some of the trees that we'll have will just have a simple metal bar that runs through here, and these are adjustable on these pressure machines. The tree machine um, works on these metal pieces in here. This one doesn't have a metal piece, it is just a solid piece of plastic. The plastic and nylon trees have a very similar tree machine set up, but they run on infrared, so it is the heat that they use to cause an adjustment, not the pressure. When we come to our more traditional trees, so the wooden ones which are beach laminated and they have got a metal, what we call gullet plates. So we've got a head plate and gullet plate through here. These need to be adjusted on these tree machines that use pressure. Now, this is where it's a wee bit more complicated, particularly for this type of tree. They have a lot of benefits, but when it comes to adjusting them, you need somebody who knows what they're doing. It is relatively easy when we look at a tree like this, naked, nothing going on with it, to see, okay, the rivets are nice and tight, we can safely adjust this without a problem. Once it's in your saddle, we need to ask a couple more questions because it's slightly more technical to see what is going on in here. So can a gullet be adjusted? Well, yes it can, but what we need to know is how old is the saddle? Is it under warranty? Because only certain people can adjust certain brands. How much love has it had? And we also need to do some basic checks to make sure it's safe. Now, one of the reasons that we do need to do this is that a nice young tree that's covered by warranty might be easy enough just to put in, in the whole saddle with some careful calculations and careful adjusting, it can be done in the saddle. Other times with an older saddle, what we want to make sure is that we don't have anything a little bit unfortunate happening inside the saddle. Now here, we have a gullet plate that has broken. So this saddle, by the way, was rolled on by a horse, so we knew the history um, and it didn't take long to have a quick check to see that there were problems. A broken gullet plate means that this is no longer safe to use, but it's great for demonstration. The other things that we look at through here are the rivets. We need to make sure that our rivets are still nice and safe and you won't be able to see it very well. But in here are lots of layers of wood and if they separate, they can make the tree 
brittle and easy to damage as well. Now the reason this is important is this will be the difference between whether or not we can adjust the gullet. So if everything is nice and safe in the saddle it can go and be adjusted. If everything looks okay but it's taken apart and found to have a problem your saddle fitter or your saddler will talk to you a little bit more about the next steps uh, usually with the sad news that the saddle is not adjustable or will affect its safety the other thing just to be aware of as well is that adjusting a gullet will only do so much in the balance of the fit so yes if all we need to do is make it a little bit wider or narrow narrower then an adjustment is good um, but there are some differences as well. So this tree, for example, is a cob tree designed for quite a wide flat back. Now, if we were to quite simply decide that we were going to make this fit our new thoroughbred that's come off the track and we thought that we could just take it and squeeze it in and make it a lot narrower and that this would work. The sad news is, is that this tree is not designed to be super narrow um, and we would distort the tree in through the angle of the rails. Same if this was a super curvy tree designed for a thoroughbred and I thought, oh, you know, my new Welsh cob's going to love the saddle um, and just opened it up and made it really wide. So it's important that your person who is going to change your gullet with the tree machine isn't your neighbour down the road who's been able to buy it because these can be purchased by everyone, uh, but is a qualified saddler or saddle fitter or somebody working towards their qualifications that knows what questions need to be asked. So as a summary, can we adjust gullets? Yes, some saddles are easier than others and some saddles, whilst they can be adjusted, probably shouldn't be. I hope that's answered some questions. Bye.